A cutter suction dredger is a stationary dredger, meaning that it is not sailing when dredging. It's generally deployed for the dredging of hard and stiff material. Large cutter suction dredgers will be self-propelled seagoing vessels. Its main components are the pontoon or casco, the cutter ladder, the cutter head, two side wires, two side wire anchors, two spuds, the spud carrier, the dredge pumps. The cutter dredger is equipped with the latest technology and computer systems used for positioning and for control and monitoring of the dredging system. The cutter head is located at the end of the cutter ladder and is lowered on the seabed. The cutter head follows a circular path created by the movement of the vessel. The rotating cutter head will cut the soil to be dredged, breaking the material into smaller particles. By swinging from side to side and advancing at the end of each swing, a channel is dredged. Inside the cutter head, a suction mouth is arranged. Water and soil particles are drawn in and this soil water mixture is pumped by the dredge pumps into the delivery pipeline. The dredger is kept into position by means of a spud fixed in the seabed. The dredger is moved by pulling on the side wire connected to the side wire anchor. At the end side of the path, the cutter head is pushed into the soil by moving the dredger forward using the spud carrier. The dredger then starts swinging to the opposite direction, repeating the entire procedure. Once the spud carrier reaches its end position, the second auxiliary spud is lowered. The main spud is lifted from the seabed and the spud carrier is brought to its initial position. When the dredger has progressed over a certain distance, the anchors are shifted using the dredger's own anchor boom system or by using an auxiliary anchor handling vessel. The dredged materials are transported towards the discharge location. Several discharging methods are used. Discharging through a set of pipelines to shore, a floating pipeline is connected to the discharge pipeline of the dredger. Depending on the distance to the shore discharge location, the line will consist of floating pipelines, submerged pipelines and or a shore pipeline discharging through a floating pipeline to a spreader pontoon. A barge is moored alongside the dredger and a barge loading pipe is lowered over its hopper. The pipe has several discharge openings, allowing a good distribution of the dredged material into the hopper of the barge. Once loaded, the split hopper barge sails to the disposal area where the load is dumped. <laughs>